What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle 4, weekly indie newcomer of the series where you and I are taking control of a Russian survivor after a nuclear holocaust has wiped out everybody. The game we're playing today is called Survival Post-Apocalypse Now, and I was actually kind of surprised, ooh, hello little friend, would you like to come with me? Yes indeed you would. I was surprised by how competent this game actually ended up being. Like the animations are not so great, the game is definitely like low budget, but at the same time it's one of those games that I bought. It's $4.99 right now on Steam, it's done by TB Games. I got the game and I really didn't have that high of expectations from it, and as I played it, I ended up playing it for probably like five or six hours, just like non-stop, and it really, really surprised me how much I ended up enjoying the fact that I was running around getting shot at and killing other people and so if you want to know what the game is it's a survival game like any other this one puts a little bit more focus I guess on the deathmatch aspect of it it's kind of like a big map battle royale so you run around you find loot you find food you build stuff but at the end of the day the ultimate goal that really everybody is working towards is killing everybody else so without further ado let's just hang out for a minute we've got a magazine for an M1911 with two bullets inside of it we got a lighter, and we've got a portable radio with no battery, or also nude, and we appear to have tattoos that are designating us as some kind of prison inmate. I don't know. They look like Russian prison tattoos or something. I don't see any of the little, what are they called? I don't know. The little, what are those things called on the top of, like, Russian cathedrals? The minarets, is that what they're called? Either way, I don't see any of that kind of stuff, but Russian tattoos are super gangster. Let's go for a walk. We're going to do some running simulator for right now. There's not a ton of people on the server right now. There's only 12 out of 40. So I'm hoping we should be able to play the game and just kind of like explore the aspects of what it has to give without being bothered or deathmatched too much. I apologize for the tearing. The game's in early access right now. I don't think there's a V-Sync option. I looked around for it. It might be in the config file somewhere, but there's definitely no in-game options that I was able to find. For right now, we've got to watch out for our food is looking good, water's looking good, our temperature is going to be going down though over time. And so since we are incredibly nude right now, which is to say that we are nude with a little bit of a bonus, we're like nude plus four at the moment, so our nudity could actually hit a lich with a basic auto attack if it wanted to. Nonetheless, what we need to do is find some clothing. I think we got a backpack, which is pretty badass, so that'll give us a whole bunch of room to work with objects because I had some serious problems the last time I played this actually finding inventory space. Let's move slowly. There's a campfire right there. Let's just be chill. We're going to be chill if we don't find clothing. I like to point that out. I'm not just being punny, but it's pretty damn cold right now. Nothing in that drawer. Nothing in there. Watch out for serial murders because they are around. Everyone is out to kill you in this game, so be aware. There is always somebody aiming a gun at you at any moment. And until we have one, I don't feel safe. Okay, so I don't have a gun right now. Let's get up out of here. We can't sprint permanently, so by holding down the shift key, we can sprint a little bit, but not too permanently. Let's just check out all these little holes over here that there might be something in. Come on, close that behind me. Nothing in that drawer. Wait, what was that? Was there anything? Nope, nothing in there. Bunch of drawers. I love the way that the drawers open individually. Like, you don't just, like, loot the entire container all at once. I like how you actually have to shift through everything and find what you want. That looks like a big-ass safe right there. It's a little bit peely. It could use some moisturizer, but still. I don't know. There's probably something good in there, but I don't think you can open it. Nothing in there. Ah, 357. Now we're in business. So now that we have a 357, we got to figure out how the hell many rounds it has. I don't know that it has unload my active weapon right now. I don't think that it has any. We might be able to... Yeah, it's got nothing. So we might be able to scare somebody with it, but much beyond that, I think we're going to be a little bit out of luck. Graphically, I think the game doesn't rest too much on presentation. Obviously, you can tell the graphics are sort of like old school Half-Life 2, kind of that genre, I guess, where they haven't put a whole lot of work into a lot of the textures. Well, I can't... That's a mean thing to say. That's not what I meant to say. I take it back. I take it back. They may have put a lot of work into it, but obviously the textures are still just kind of like thrown onto things. It's a little bit muddy right now. It could definitely look a little bit better, but at the same time, it's all functional. Like, I've never been able to be like, what is that over there? I can't tell what this object is that I am currently manipulating. Oh my god, it's a snake and it just bit me in the face. Like, I've never gotten to that point. Did we hit... Which buildings did I hit? I don't know if I hit that little white one over there. This one's got an... Can I go in here? You there. Building. Can I enter you? Will you be my friend? <gasps> No, you will not be my friend. Well, we have no clothing, but we have a firearm. And so maybe if we cuddle it enough, it'll fill us with the spirit of murder, which I've heard is a very warm emotion. So anyways, we're down to 33.5. You will freeze to death if you don't find clothing quick enough. Why our character started nude, I'm not really sure. Usually you start with like a tank top and track pants, like some Adidas track pants or whatever. This time we were not so lucky. I'm going to stay off the road. I'm just going to kind of like follow it off to the side. The first reason being, it sounds like there's a wolf around. 
ass. There are wolves and bears, and there's all kinds of things that like to prey upon you. And I don't know, I don't mean that they like to use you as an altar for their invocations of the divine. I mean that they like to eat you and take giant chunks out of your thigh muscle. So, let's just stay away from any of the wildlife, shall we? We're not going to feed the animals, not going to touch the animals, not going to pet the animals. We're just going to let it be. Let it be. Let's take this slowly. I don't hear the sounds of anybody walking. I do hear a woodpecker, which is one of the universe's most obnoxious sounds. My dad waged a war against a woodpecker for like a year and a half at the house that I lived at before I, I guess, turned 18 and moved out. He waged a one-man war against this woodpecker that was, it was pecking holes in the side of the house, and it just wouldn't stop. And so forever, he tried trapping it. He tried just everything he could to get rid of this woodpecker, and it would always come back. I don't know what that was, but we'll take appraisal of what we have in just a moment. Hopefully, we'll have some 357 rounds in here. And so anyways, what I remember is that the woodpecker had a super obnoxious noise that it made when it pecked on the side of the house, and it enjoyed doing it at like 4 in the morning. We got another magazine for what looks like either a Glock, an APS gun. I don't know what an APS gun is, but it has six cartridges inside of it, so we'll save it just in case we find anything else. We can't open up the cans until we get a can opener, unfortunately. We have a bandage and we have a chocolate bar, so we should be okay? I don't know. We should probably just search some more houses, see what we come out with here. Get inside that drawer right there. Yep. Never wanted to turn down an opportunity to get inside some drawers. We've got a flashlight right there. I have no idea how to use the flashlight. It probably has no batteries. What is that? Oh, we've got a hat now. You can't really see it, but it's kind of like a Peaky Blinders 1910 hat. So now we look like a brigand from World War I, or at least from the World War I period there. I gotta, I gotta specify that a little bit better because I think it was a little bit clumsily crafted. Outhouse, huh? Anybody want to go in the outhouse? Check the poop chute. That's one of the few places that actually has a poop chute. Like, people always use that word, but it's actually, like, right there. It's a physical, it's a literal manifestation of the poop chute. Let's go, and we'll check over here. I hate outhouses. That cold feeling when it's hot outside and you sit down. Ugh. That's the worst. And then there's always black widows in them where I live, and so I'm always worried that my... I'm always worried that a black widow is going to get real, real friendly with the bung, and it's just... I don't know if it's a... F I thought I heard somebody moving. And rest assured, everyone is trying to kill you in this game. If you're wondering why I'm so paranoid... Everyone is trying to murder you. Sometimes, oh, we got a can opener, so we can actually open up one of these foods if we wanted to. Great. I would love some bullets, though. That would be my favorite thing for right now. Bullets. 357 rounds so that I'm not threatened by the coming of every animal and every bad guy ever. A 357 will drop somebody in this game, too. It'll do a fair amount of damage. I don't want a gun that does... Ooh. Got ourselves a shoot gun. Does this one have any rounds? Can we unload you? You don't have anything either? No! My boomsticks are unfortunately lacking. Well, hopefully the sun will come up. The sun will come up tomorrow. It always does. Unless it's overcast, but then I guess you can make the argument it's still technically there. It's just the fact that the clouds are getting in the way. So the sun will come up. There's just no, like, revisions, terms, or requirements for it to be unobtruded, I guess, or unobstructed. There we go. Can I actually go up here? Ooh. That was kind of cool. Hopefully the wolf that's behind us can't climb. That would be awesome. Nothing inside of there. Nothing sitting. Wait, there's a little box over here. A little keepsake chest. Well, there was no sakes to be kept, so I guess that's that. I don't know if you take fall damage. Either way, I walk down the ladder with no hands, being the manly man Russian that I am. What are these? Ooh, I got some galoshes. Hooray! God, I just look like a mess. Can you tell it's the apocalypse? My god. I look like a mess. The other thing that we need is an axe so we can chop down trees and start gathering wood so that we can actually start building a base and doing some other stuff. Yes, indeedly doodly, that is in the game. You can accomplish that. There is some basic crafting in the game for right now. You can make campfires. You can cook things as far as I know. I played around with that. You can build walls. I've seen a couple of houses that look like they were definitely not part of the normal scenery. I mean, I could be wrong, I guess, but they look like they were player built. What is that? A can opener next to the bed? Do you really so frequently eat next to the bed that... You know what? I'm not going to question it. Let's just go ahead and take care of some of these beans. Ah. So now that we're all nice and full, I tend to get rid of everything. Everything. I almost shot the drawer. I didn't mean to, but it almost happened. If we had only had, like, one bullet, that would have been unfortunate. But you know what? I'm going to click it away. Hooray! This could... Oh, good. We got lighter fluid now, too. That's good. You need that. The lighter fluid is used to soak wood so that you can light it and make a fire. You can do it indoors, outdoors, wherever you want to do it. But wherever you do it, it'll raise your warmth. And so if you don't have good clothing, making a fire is a pretty smart choice. 
Not seeing anything up and in here for right now. Down and in here, I guess. We're staring at the floor. Down and in here is going to be a much more accurate appraisal. Let's go out this way. Are there any more houses we haven't hit? This actually looks like a fairly large settlement, so I think we run a pretty good chance, or at least walk a pretty good chance, of getting some loot here. We got guns and we got pistols and things. Let me jump up in the door real fast. None of the cabinets are opened either, which is always a really good sign. A lot of people leave the... Oh, we got some Gatorade up in there? Hell yeah. I love alligator-related products. Mm-mm-mm. With extra gator. So, I could probably... Get rid of you. Let's do that. I don't need two can openers. There's really no reason for it. I don't need two walkie-talkies either. So let's get rid of that. I don't think that I need one walkie-talkie, but, you know. Your stuff falls on the floor, by the way, so other people can pick it up. There's no way to, like, destroy objects or... Was that me? I think that might have been me. Oh, anybody want some sugar clouds? Huh? Nothing says fills you up like a cloud. What's in here? Nothing? Well, damn. I want to get some loot. Let's make this happen, Cap'n. I don't know what I just picked up. Maybe a sewing kit or something? Oh, it's a can of sardines. And then there's a magazine for another firearm. We have a 357, so obviously we don't have the magazine that we need for that. The flashlight has no battery, so I'm going to ditch it. It's not doing us any good right now. The radio has no battery either, so I see no reason to leave that as, like, a mainline member of our party here. We'll kind of keep it in the back line. It'll be our gal. There we go. And so now that we've got that... Cross the road. Let's hit the next street. Can't really see too well. Visibility is a little bit low at the moment just because of nighttime and the lack of the bombardment from the sun, but I think we'll be alright. Maybe what will happen is once I get a little bit of the ways through this, what I'll do is I'll make a tiny cut and you can see what it looks like during the daytime. I think it was actually simmering down on the back. Oh, there's a little box right here. What, I no what I've noticed about the Russian countryside is that everybody has a lot of little receptacles. Lots of them. Maybe I just don't really take stock of how many drawers and like random boxes are in my house, but... It seems like there's a lot in here, and a lot of broken mirrors, too. A lot of people unhappy with their physical appearance or otherwise morphing into the Hulk or something. I don't really know. Still, we need to figure this out right meow. And if we can't find a fire axe, this is going to be a real short trip because our body temperature is dropping pretty rapidly. Hopefully we find one. Usually you can find them in, like, tool sheds and things like that. But I'm unaware or unfamiliar at the bare minimum. Ooh, what is this? Oh, we got a coat! Hell yeah! Okay, so now we're gonna be a little bit warmer, and we're camouflaged. We got, like, a mini skirt thing going on. See, this was all the rage in the 1960s. You walk around like this now, and people assume that you wandered off the Castro. I'd be like, it's not... You know what? Just because you're a fashion... You're not a fashionista like I am. You know, just because you don't spend time just really paying attention to the arts, it doesn't mean that you get to make fun of me for having fashion sense and knowing what's hip, what's in, what's down on the streets right now. Okay? Because I take great pride in the fact that I know what's pop. What is that? A syringe? What does that do? A syringe. A brand new syringe. Okay, well, at least it's unopened. That's good. What's in here? Ooh. What are you? Oh, we got a gun. We got a gun. Reload our bullets so I can shoot everything that tries to get my loot. Oh, there's a guy right here. Ooh. And so the rule of the jungle, it just went down. It's I told you, it's get down or lay down in this game. It's get down or lay down here. So do I get his loot? All in all, oh, he drops it on the floor when he dies. Oh my god. Okay, so he's got a fire axe. That's all that I really sincerely wanted. I'll probably drop the shotgun for right now which I think you do with the G key because you can only equip two weapons at a time he had a flashlight which is actually why he ended up dying he should have he should have ditched the flashlight man you got all kinds of stuff in here you need to hang out with me more often he's got 15 rounds for a Glock APS gun well hell get rid of the empty mag the 1911 mag and then did you have a sidearm anywhere in there oh you did you cheeky little bastard you did okay so Mineral water. Let's get that taken care of. I'm going to eat this donut real fast because I don't want anybody else to have it because I'm greedy like that. And we're out of inventory space right now. But you see that pistol right there? He's also got what looks like a shoddy over here. 
So, were there any rounds in this? Okay, so that's empty. He had a combat shotgun. It looks like he has a... Looks like a 38 or something. I think because I've already got a sidearm, it's not going to let me pick that up. But he had gasoline, too. Man, this guy's got all kinds of stuff hanging out. Either way, he got dealt with. He got dealt with with a quickness. All right. Well, just in case he comes back for reprisals, let's get out of Dodge. I think I put three rounds into him, which means we have three left right now. I'm going to go to the church. Shit. All right. So we're being fired upon. Let's get into cover, and then we'll head up into the mountains. Try and get as many objects in between me and him as possible because we are wounded right now. It's possible that he might have been shooting at a dog, which is now after us. Let's head up into the hills real fast because we got all the things that we need to survive for right now. And so if we can get up into the hills, we can actually just sort of like avoid human beings, live for a while off of our spoils. I don't know if that was a friend of his or who he called in the cavalry for or what's going on. But we 100% cannot take a risk with it right now. Let's go ahead and bounce back real quick. Body temperature still falling. If he comes over the hill, we've got the perfect outline of him right now. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're looking pretty solid right now. I think what I'll do is let's back up over to this side. Let's take a minute. I don't think you regenerate health. I actually think you have to have medical supplies in order to get health back. And so, actually, it says we're healthy right now. The damage thing is still up there, but I think the band-aid took care of us. Let's go ahead and get up into the mountains real fast. And now that we're here... Let's play around with our axe so I can show you how this works. So we can chop down trees, which obviously the animation leaves a little something to be desired. When you chop down a tree, a log pops out of the bottom of the tree. That's exactly how lumberjacking works right there. Ask any lumberjack that you know. I promise he's going to confirm the fact that you hit the tree, and then after you hit the tree a couple times, I've got a bunch of magazines for a Glock. It's disappointing that he did not have a Glock on him. Like, I really am actually pretty bummed about it. And so I think now what we can do is we can take that, we can combine that with gasoline. That gives us that right there. And then we do this right here. And so there it is. And if you watch, our temperature will actually go up. And if you do this inside, I don't know, I did it in a bunker one time, and it seemed to actually make my heat go up faster. But when this starts to get real, real low, does it say stable or unstable on his leg? I'm going to assume with the way that we just, like, ruthlessly ended somebody's life that it's unstable. Watch out, though, because it sends a smoke signal up into the air, so... You know, there's that. Somebody might try and come in and get the jump on you. I'm going to wait for just a second to try and get my heat back up. But if anybody else tries to get real with me, best believe I am ready to unleash with the heater right now. We only got three bullets, so keep that in mind. Is that the Glock mag right there that I dropped? God, we have so many Glock rounds. If we could just find a Glock, we'd be in amazing shape. Get rid of the APS. I would say get rid of, like, anything that requires me to have, like, a whole bunch of random inventory space tied up in it. And let's get as far away from that as possible because, actually, I wanted to take an appraisal of how far away you can see fires from because I've been playing the game quite a bit, but this is never a test that I actually ran. So, let's run a test, shall we? You actually can't see it from that far off. I think you're probably good as long as you get up into the mountains or something. You're probably mighty, mighty fine. I'm glad we got to kill somebody, though. I was worried the server was going to be a little bit underpopulated. We got to kill somebody. We got shot at. The map is pretty big. It uses a zoning system like Stalker does. So if you're interested in the way that it all works, the game is basically just a big deathmatch map. That's all that it is. But it has zones. And so there's a marsh zone. There's a zone with a military base. There's a zone that has like a whole bunch of helicopters and stuff like that. And in fact, I think this is the military base right here. Indeed it is. So anyways, 
Lots of cool stuff in here. I mean, it's a fun game. And chances are you're going to run into somebody before too long. You're going to get into a fight. Good fun is going to be had. The loot is actually not rare in this game. So it's quick to gear up. And so if you're looking for a lighter weight experience where you can pick up loot really, really rapidly, get out there, fight somebody, shoot them, you know, lose your loot, get your loot back very, very rapidly without a... Without a whole bunch of walk time, you'll probably be okay. These are like the last of my bullets, which is unfortunate. Come on, doggy. Get up out of here. All right, so we took out a dog with an axe because that's just the kind of manly bastard that we are. Can I go through this window right here? Let's check this big building. But yeah, I was actually reasonably impressed by this game. The animations are bad. The graphics aren't so great, but at the same time, I had a lot of fun with it, and so I figured I would do an episode here today. This is usually about the time that I do my pros and cons, and we talk about the things that I do like about the game versus the things that I don't, and I think that's probably a wise idea right here, so let's give that a go. My general feeling towards survival post-apocalypse now is that while it's not more than the sum of its parts, it does at least add up to a balanced equation, and so what I'm trying to say here is that what... It does is not new, it's not unique, but it does it well enough to be enjoyed. Graphically, I find that the game is a bit of a time machine and is definitely not looking amazing, but in today's world of indie titles, I'm pretty happy to see anything that isn't made out of pixels anymore. I love the gun sound effects, they all boom, they have bass, they have kick, it feels like the weapon has weight and impact. Shots are deadly, accuracy is on point most of the time, every single shot is a tracer, so if you're firing a long ways, you can work with that. The shootouts have never felt loose, and if you aim well, you can definitely kill a lot of people. A big portion of the player base is Russian, as is the development team, so patch notes and general information about the game tend to be sparse with regards to specifics, but thus far, I guess the big question that I would ask about any game when I come into this little review portion is, is it fun? And with Survival Post Apocalypse Now, I found it to be a good time. As for downsides, I think the game suffers from bad animations, the graphics are not amazing, they leave something to be desired, I think the inventory system needs to be reworked, it's not very user friendly right now, as basically, you can't move things around, the only way you can like manipulate your inventory is by dropping and repicking things back up. It feels, through the main menu, it all feels kind of cobbled in game, the ability to assign weapons without having to drop and pick up other weapons would be fantastic as well. And I would like to see the same thing with clothing and gear being storable in your backpacks so that you can like move things around at a different location rather than sitting in a dangerous zone hot swapping items trying to get the best configuration of gear. I'd also like for the ground to become a sort of container for dropped loot rather than all loot having to be manually looked through as well. Like if you open the menu it would just have a loot, like a little list of all the loot on the ground. That would be something that I would prefer versus what they have right now because you can spend a lot of time just like playing around, manipulating, and trying to get things off the ground that you want. Inventory space is really limited. I think they should probably bring that up a tiny bit, but that's a hard thing to balance without actually ruining the survival portion of the game. As of right now, I mean, during this playthrough, we picked, we picked up pretty much the best like gear you can get the entire game. We had a military backpack, military jacket, I mean, and you still run out of inventory space pretty rapidly. Your weapons are limited to a primary and a secondary which can lead to a little bit of confusion because your character can still have a secondary weapon equipped while having two primaries equipped and it's not really explained. Like there's a lot of random little things in there that I think just need to be ironed out, but for all its rough edges, I still had fun with the game. I'm a big fan of all survival games and this one was better than quite a few of the ones that I get a look at on a daily basis. And so if you wanted to check out Survival Post Apocalypse Now, you can get it on Steam for $4.99. It's by TV Games. I'll have the link for everything you want down below, along with a new player's guide so that you can get started and make sure that you're not like running around naked, not sure what to do. My name is Splattercat. This is Weekly Indie Newcomer, where you and I sit down and talk about a game that I've been playing over the course of the last week. This week's newcomer was Survival Post Apocalypse Now. I will see you all next week or next time with whatever I have on offer. If you like this video series, please like and subscribe down below. It really does help the channel out, and I will see you all at our next review.